Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video is a continuation of yesterday's video and we're gonna go over palindrome permutation. We solved it yesterday using a hash table or you could call it a, uh, what's it called now? A hash table in other languages, but in Python we call it a, a dictionary. Yep, 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 man. Uh, it's a, uh, today is just one of my slow days. I just feel so slow today. But anyways, yeah. So let's go ahead and solve it using a hash table. Again, it's, I'm sorry, let's solve it using a bit vector. Okay, not a hash table. We used a hash table the other uh, on the previous solution. A bit vector. Alright, let's get it. So first is we wanna so I'm just gonna write just like keep. I can stay focused. Okay, first again, like we wanna define a variable to keep track of how many odds. We we agreed that a a uh, palindrome and a permutation. Permutation is just two strings. Where the first string, if you rearrange it in different ways, you can get the second string. That's a permutation. Now, a palindrome is a string that reads the same forward and backward. So, in this case, this guy, okay, you can rearrange him and get this guy. So, you can say this guy is a permutation of the input. However, this guy also happens to be a palindrome because he reads the same backward as it does forward so is this guy so that's exactly what we're trying to do right now so we're just gonna go ahead and do it okay so we're gonna create our so we decided the rules for a palindrome a palindrome can only have even numbers so for instance let's see a b b a uh, this is a music group in the 80s my mom really liked them but anyways let's see, let's go so this is a palindrome because it reads the same forward as it does backward and however a palindrome should always so two there are two main rules okay the number the length of the class in a palindrome should most likely be even it can be odd but odd is the second case but it should be even at each of the characters and if it's even if the length of the palindrome is even of the word is even each of the characters has to also be present at even time okay so i'm saying so this is a palindrome okay if i add a okay i'm gonna add a and a okay this is still a palindrome right because a is four four times and b is four is four times okay they're all even each of the characters however if the palindrome is gonna be odd there has to be a character that appears there at all times so in fact i can add b here so here a is even b is odd we're fine i can change this to o actually still a palindrome a is even b is even o is odd just once okay i can change it to three o's o is still odd that's four o's okay a is even, B is even, O is still, or uh, this is still a palindrome, okay? So that is the rules. The rules is each of the characters in a palindrome has to appear even times. Unless the length of the whole string is odd, then it has to be one character. Just one character has to appear all times. So let's get it. So we're going to create a variable called alt count just to keep track of that character or whatever character that appears an odd number of times because he's only allowed to appear once, not more than once, okay? So that's it. So again, first step, like the, the question said, ignore casing and um, we can ignore spaces and stuff. So S equals S dot lower, okay? And we wanna replace. What do we wanna replace? We wanna replace the spaces with not spaces okay bam this should take care of that for us the next step is we want to create our bit vector so i'm going to call him count and he's going to be equal to since this is all alphabetical characters there's just 26 letters in the alphabet so right now he's going to be a vector that contains zero 26 times because there's 26 letters in the alphabet okay i'm going to go ahead and print him so you can see Take my word for it i'm not gonna count it but there's 26 in here trust me i know you can but but yeah okay so now we're gonna iterate through s and the point is if we iterate through s and say the first letter say we get to a t the point is to find whatever the index of a t is because this is a 26 think of it as a 26 byte number go to the bit 26 or whatever bit t corresponds to and set him to one if you find the a go to a set him to one you find a second time go to a set him to two update him just increment you're going through the string and you're incrementing the character corresponding to the index however many times you encounter them so that's what we're gonna do now so we're gonna see for and don't worry we're gonna go visualize the code so you guys can see what 
it's actually going on so for character in s okay what do we want to do we want to update him and again let's take this for the valve first so i can show you so the way we update him is let me show you something it's a function called ord okay so i'm going to show you ord of the letter a or all the other does is it prints the ascii code of whatever character you pass to him actually it returns it doesn't print so i'm trying to print it now it's on the ascii of whatever you pass to him so lowercase a his ascii is 97. guess what lowercase b's ascii is you guessed it right 98 guess what lowercase c ascii is it's 99 okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and print the car over again So now on the car count. Okay. Moving forward, okay. So how do we find the exact index? Okay, the way to find the exact index is just to, since this is alphanumeric and A is the first, since this is the alphabet and A is the first letter in the alphabet, the way to find the position of any letter in this bit vector is just to subtract that letter's position from A. So for instance, A minus A is gonna be zero. Here's the zero index, right? b minus a the ascii of b minus a it's gonna be one which is this index c minus a it's gonna be two because it's a zero one two it's the second index two okay z minus a it's gonna be 25 because there's 26 letters in the alphabet and it's zero based okay that's pretty much how we do it so now going back to the for loop so we want to go through s and each time we see any of these characters we want to update him in this count vector so okay so we're gonna use a going through it we're gonna say count of that guy whoever he is okay in this case he's gonna be character okay we're gonna update him by one whenever whatever character we find and we're done so at the end we're gonna have a dictionary i'm gonna go ahead and print the dictionary for you I, i'm sorry i keep saying dictionary i'm tripping guys i'm gonna have counts so i'm gonna go ahead and print counts call count okay see a is twice in here c is twice and o is once c twice yeah okay so we have that so now we want to iterate through this guy to keep track of the odd people whoever appears an odd number of times not just once if, if, if there was a three in here we're gonna take note of, note of that so there can only be one odd number of character in here or, or it's not a palindrome so let's go for item and count for item and count okay if item modulus 2 we know what the modulus operator does it gives us the remainder so if we try to divide that item okay we're going through this count vector we try to divide the item by two and there's a remainder if that equal one okay so here there's not going to be a remainder here there's not going to be a remainder however here there will be a remainder because one modulus two is one okay if, if it equals one if there's some kind of remainder we'll say odd count We want to increment him okay and then at the same time if odd count ever gets past one because we said there has to be only one element that appears an odd number of times if it ever gets past one we want to return false otherwise we return true if we go through the array and we don't get to return for false we return true this should work now good uh let me add one character in here false if i add a o i think o is the only character that appears once so if i add a second o it should still be true i believe all right bam we have it so like always a step through our code because we're steppers okay bam I'm gonna make this full screen <clears throat> just to visualize our bit vector mostly okay we, we this is the function scope okay this is the global scope which is out here this is the function scope in here so we have our s okay next we're gonna create our alt count i'm gonna remove the space and change him out to lowercase bam 
we just did that okay we're gonna create a count variable which is all zeros 26 okay let's make sure it's zeros zero 20 25 so 26 items in here okay now we're gonna go through this for loop updating each one so first car is t okay then we want to do we want to set t i'm just going to go through it fast for all six characters in the stream okay so it's set a there's one a so far there's supposed to be two though two um c's one whatever this guy is and that that's O. okay then once we're done with our bitmap we're gonna go through this count and count it for the number of all the characters and we, we know there's only one item right there's no item with a number of cards two 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 yeah that's right uh yeah we added it all so this is just gonna return true so i'm just gonna jump to the last step it returns true i'm printing it out so that's it for the video guys i hope it was helpful be sure to tune in daily for more python tutorials